A very good morning from the first day of the Cannes Yachting Festival. I'm Yelena with Ocean Independence and this morning I'm welcoming you on board my beautiful CA for sale. Adile is a 33 meter Navetta built by Custom Line Shipyard in 2021. She is the most popular model built by the shipyard and I was extremely lucky to get involved with the new build construction. She has some amazing features which I can't wait to show you. Come on board when you're ready. We are in the main deck aft and I would like to tell you a little bit more about Custom Line who are part of the Ferretti Group. And Ferretti Group are one of the most successful Italian yacht builders dating back to 1969 which is quite impressive. So she is a semi-custom yacht which means that the exterior lines remain the same but you can still customize the interiors and both interior and exterior were done by Zucan International Project. You'll see plenty of this customization inside while moving through the boat. Now let me show you uh, the beautiful aft cockpit area. We have a lovely sitting area with coffee table, which is a great area to greet guests and also for lounging. If anchors turn in a beautiful dock, it's also a little more protected from the wind when underway, so a nice area to sit whilst on the move if you want to be outside. Down the steps you have a transom which opens up to reveal a huge swim platform of the 10 days towed here. This transom system is actually patented by Custom Line and called a dual mode transom. It allows for an expanded living and entertainment space and really gives this whole area a lot of volume. That wraps up for the main deck off and let's head to the main saloon. And here we are in the main deck saloon. The first thing I would like to show you is obviously the openness of this boat. This boat offers you an uh, extraordinary internal volume of 262 gross tons. As you will see throughout this yacht, the interiors are kept very light, contemporary and clean, which really brings a sense of openness wherever you go. Let me show you the first customization. This mirrors actually makes uh, the space feel much bigger and you will find them all way through the boat. On the right hand side you have an opening terrace which gives you the feeling of unobstructed view and you can enjoy it while underway or sitting on the couch. Another customization on this yacht is the position of the TV. On most of the yachts of this 33 series the TV is actually situated in the ceiling but the owner wanted to maintain the unobstructed views to the ocean. On the left hand side we have a very comfortable sitting area with a coffee table. Table. This gives you a perfect place to relax if you want to get out of the sun for a bit or out of the heat as all areas of the yacht are fully air conditioned. Now we are getting to the uh, formal dining area which comfortably sits up to 10 guests. On the wall you can see this beautiful artwork which ties up really nicely with the rest of the interior. So let me bring you further and here if we go upstairs these stairs will bring us to the upper deck saloon. Downstairs is the lower guest accommodation with a guest day hat on the right hand side. And here we go to the full beam master cabin. So here we have the full beam master stateroom. We have a nice desk to my right for walking with a fantastic view. On the left hand side we have a huge walk-in wardrobe with hanging space and plenty of space to store your shoes. You can really feel the volume of this boat in the master bedroom. The beam of this yacht is 7.7 .7 meters, which is massive for a yacht of this size. Again, the feeling of openness continues here with these huge windows and light furnishing. Through here we have a his and hers ensuite, which is mirrored on both sides, with double vanity mirrors and sinks, toilets and a rainfall shower in the middle. A really cool feature on this yacht is the wooden floor, which you'll find all the way through the boat. Now let's go to directly below into the guest cabins. 
we have four guest cabins which are three doubles and one twin. This means you can comfortably accommodate up to eight guests at any time. Each of the guest cabins are designed in a similar fashion to the rest of the yacht and each has their own well-equipped and unsweet bathroom. An important thing to note for this yacht is she is fully charter compliant, so the new owner of this yacht could put her straight into a charter market if they want to. Speaking about charter, of course, crew are very important to bear in mind. Just around the corner we have the crew quarters with the pantry, access to the galley and the crew mess. This yacht can accommodate up to five crew members across three cabins downstairs in the addition to the captain's cabin upstairs, all of which are a very respectable size for a yacht of 33 meter. And now let's go and check out the Sky Lounge. And here we go, we are in the Sky Lounge, which is filled with the natural light. Again, here we have this great feature of the mirrored ceiling, which gives you the uh, feeling of the openings. Another customized feature to mention here is the TV, because normally it would be positioned in the ceiling again. The views have been carefully maintained throughout the yacht. Another important feature is the set of doors, which can be stored on the side to create a completely open area. If we continue further, we have an informal alfresco dining area, which comfortably sits up to 10 guests, and a socializing area further aft, which gives you a little more privacy than on the main deck. And if you want even more privacy, we can go to the sun deck. And here we go. This is one of the most popular areas between many clients. Look at the size of this sun deck. It's 53 square meters. Here in the aft part, we have sun lounges for soaking up the sun. A little bit further, we have a fantastic sitting area for having drinks, finger food, entertaining, enjoying the music, which is controlled by the help of these buttons together with the light. Here we have a vet bar, or, which is very convenient for crew, to, for entertaining guests, for serving food. We have an ice maker here and a lot of storage, a sink, everything you need to look after guests. And obviously, a very important part is a jacuzzi to enjoy with family and fantastic for little kids. And on the top of the yacht, we have the radar arch and all the navigation equipment. And on that note, let me bring you to the wheelhouse and we can have a closer look at that. And here we are in the wheelhouse. This is where the boat is controlled from and this is where the captain sits. We have state-of-the-art navigation equipment which links to the navigation bridge we just saw, as well as uh, all of the engine controls. She has two MAN V12 engines which provide 1400 horsepower each and a performance of 12 knots cruising speed and 15 knots top speed with a range of 1850 nautical miles at cruising speed. She also has two sets of stabilizers. The fin stabilizers are hydraulic and two gyro stabilizers, so she's super stable. And that's about it for the well house and let's head to the bow area. And now we're coming to the bow area. Here we have the third wing station for easier maneuvering for the captain. A very comfortable U-shaped sitting area. For 12 guests, here you can have amazing breakfast or sundowners and look at the view that we have today. We have a fantastic view uh, at the uh, Khan Bay. We have a beautiful sunbeds and under the sunbeds you have a crane to store either a jet ski or a tender. Coming down here, this is more of a technical area, but let me show you uh, just a, a little bit of it with old mooring equipment and anchors. And here we go. For the last and final day of the Canberra show on Sunday at 7 p.m., we will ring the bell. If you did like this video, please leave us a comment, a like, subscribe, and uh, I leave my contact details downstairs.